Genoa City, the fictional setting of the young and the restless, has recently seen a surge in storylines centered around mental illness, leaving viewers questioning if the show is overplaying this aspect. While mental illness is undoubtedly a real and serious issue in the world, its portrayal on the soap opera seems to be taking center stage, raising eyebrows among fans. For months, loyal viewers of Wayand are were inundated with business-related plots, with storylines revolving around Jabot, Newman Enterprises, Chancellor Winters, and the ever-watchful talker. However, a sudden shift has occurred, with mental health taking precedence over corporate drama. Characters like Connor, Ashley, and Claire are now grappling with their own mental health struggles, leading to a cluster of storylines unfolding simultaneously. While it's understandable for characters to face challenges and breakdowns given their tumultuous lives, the sudden onset of these issues seems somewhat contrived. Take Connor for example. Wasn't he already receiving treatment at a therapeutic boarding school for his behavioral issues? His recent struggles appear to come out of nowhere, leaving fans puzzled about the consistency of his character arc. Similarly, Ashley's past struggles with amnesia and split personalities are being revisited, but the catalyst for her current mental state seems trivial compared to her previous traumas. While Wand R may be attempting to shed light on important societal issues surrounding mental health, the simultaneous portrayal of multiple characters grappling with such challenges feels overwhelming. Each storyline could have been impactful on its own, but the sheer volume of mental health plots seems excessive, leaving little room for other narrative arcs to develop. Moreover, the absence of Sharon's character as a practicing therapist adds another layer of inconsistency to the storytelling. With Sharon occupied running her business, the show lacks a central figure to provide insight and guidance on mental health matters. So the real reason behind YNR's sudden focus on mental health remains unclear. Whether it's an attempt to raise awareness or simply a shift in storytelling priorities, the abundance of mental health storylines has left fans divided. What do you think of YNR's recent emphasis on mental health? That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on The Young and the Restless and other soap operas. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.